So I have uh, bought, uh, purchased three different price range of mat boxes. Uh, they kind of all have their own unique thing that they do, even though they're all mat boxes. Um, and they're from the lowest spectrum priced mat box you can get to the highest, well, not the highest price because mat boxes get into the thousands and I'm sure for Hollywood, they're tens of thousands of dollars. But we'll start with the cheap one first. But I do want to say that your mat box is only as good as the glass that you put in it. So you can get a cheap mat box for 50, 60 bucks off eBay. Like this one here that I bought. It's a CA Vision, I think it says, or Cavision or Cavision or whatever you want to call it. And it has uh, five spots to put, you know, filters in and... Um, uh, but it's so plastically plasticky and very like loose and jittery and uh, it's just not nice you know the old adage you get what you pay for that really fits the bill with this one but you know what it still works as a mat box and if you're just getting into cinema and you, you want to see if you want a mat box or if you need a mat box and you and you more than likely will if you're trying to cut down on flares because let's that's what a mat box does you uh, uh, even with just a single hood um, it can cut down on making your videos look washy uh, milky uh, because when the when there's so much light around whether it's uh, light from your lighting or your outdoors in the sun, um, it refracts on the lens and it's gonna make your, it's gonna give a haze look to your video. That's just one thing that a Mac box helps you control. And then again, like I said, you can put filters in them, uh, but, uh, and there's cheap filters and there's expensive filters, just like there's cheap matte boxes and cheap, um, and expensive matte boxes. So you really, uh, the old adage, you get what you pay for, it boils down to what you can afford. Do you need this product? If so, what are you going to do to get it? Do you, do you need the high-end one? Probably not. Um, do you need the lowest end one? Maybe at the moment you do, and then you can upgrade later. It's like camera bodies. You want to put your money into the glass. Uh, just like camera bodies, you want to put your money into the lenses. Camera bodies are going to come and go. Matte boxes are going to come and go. But your glass is going to stay forever. So that's kind of uh, my take on a cheap plastic $50 mat box off eBay or maybe your local camera store. All right, let's move into the next tier or step. So this next, this next mat box probably needs no introduction. It's been uh, flaunted around <laughs> uh, all over YouTube for the last couple months as of the date of this video. Uh, for $99, it's by Tilta, the same people that made the... Um, focus wheel that I uh, reviewed and talked about in episode one, and I'll put the link up here for my minimalist build. And uh, it is a beautiful, just piece of art. Um, first of all, it comes in this heavy duty cardboard box that you, you could probably drive a car on top of. And it comes with all these uh, thread sizes for different lenses. It comes with the arm for your tilt to focus, uh, follow focus wheel. Uh, other attachments and uh, um, manual and a nice foam insert so you can store it when you're not using it. Um, but this thing, let me let me show you. It's uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> the hood uh, is carbon fiber and, and talk about minimalist. Is this thing so small? I'm going to put it on my Sony um, A7R3 with the uh, 24 millimeter lens. G Master lens, look at that. Is that the coolest little run and gun kind of matte box looking <laughs> filmic, you know, kind of uh, look and feel? Uh, I just feel cooler having that on my lens, but that's not really what it's for. So, um, a few uh, things about it though. Um, I love it and I'm not going to return it and I'm going to keep it. Um, a few things about it though. It's $99, right? But uh, to get a good piece of glass in here, like this Nisi 7-stop that I have in there now, that's $250 on Amazon or B&H or wherever you want to go. And again, the, the age-old adage, you get what you pay for. You don't want to put, sure, there's uh, 
maybe glass I saw for $79 by some no name uh, company um, that you can put in here. But what's the color going to be like and what's how's it going to react? So I trust Nisi as a filter manufacturer or whoever your favorite manufacturer is that only makes filters, that only makes glass. Um, you're going to pay more for that. So then this matte box becomes $350 to $400 after shipping and everything is said and done. Is it a cool portable matte box? Does it function as a matte box? Yeah. You can only get one piece of glass in the front and possibly you could put a, a circular filter on your lens and attach this matte box to that so you could have two filters. Um, so, but you can't do circular polarization. Uh, you can't do variable ND um, that uh, my next matte box we're gonna talk about does. So uh, is it worth it? That's gonna be up to you and what your budget is and what you need, what you're, what you're actually using it for. Again, it does function as a real matte box and, and, and cuts down the glare and the, and the fractiles that may bounce off your lens. It's going to, uh, uh, again, based on the good filter that you put in the front of this thing, it's machined beautifully. It's all aluminum and plastic and it's everything you can want for $99, but you're going to spend a lot more than $99. So uh, that kind of leads me in to my final uh, matte box. That, that I bought and ended up with. So let's jump into that. So I ended up buying the base camp by Polar Pro. Um, again, my Tilta after $99 and $250 in glass with shipping and everything, you're looking at $400. For two to $300 more, I can get all the options I need in a matte box that's just as high quality, if not more. The machining is beautiful, the powder coating on this aluminum, the plastic, uh, it even has uh, a carbon fiber, uh, sun uh, visor as well. But the option to be able to have a uh, polarizer, a neutral density, a variable neutral density filter, uh, as well as single uh, ND filters as well. Um, I'm not going to review it because there's so many reviews out there and Gerald Undone does a really good re review on this on this matte box. And um, thanks, Gerald, because that's one of the reasons why I bought it. <laughs> I always look to you uh, for your awesome reviews and technical specs. Uh, that helps me ha from having to do all the research myself and then maybe buying something and returning it. So... Uh, go over and give uh, Gerald Undone a big shout out. Tell him Rick sent you. I'll put the link to his video right here um, so you can uh, watch a real world spec review on the base camp for this minimalistic rig. So, so again, for two or three hundred dollars more, um, you know, I understand if you can't afford it, that's you, you just can't afford it. So, this could be the perfect option for you, the Tilta for $99 and then screw on a, a cheaper circular filter and you've got yourself a matte box for probably under 200 bucks. Again, I went a little overboard. I mean, I already had an filters anyways, um, which are very expensive uh, for my photography. And uh, and so, and, I, and I'm almost positive this seven stop Nisi filter was 250 bucks. Uh, I'll put the link to that as well down in the dis uh, the description when you click on show more. And I could have just as well been fine probably with this big giant CA Vision um, 7 filter holder matte box, but it just wasn't what I wanted to do. Uh, again, this this build vlog is I'm trying to build a the a smallest package run and gun cinema photography cinema camera that I can build. I'm learning a lot about um, uh, focus pulling on my own. I'm using this uh, 24 millimeter zine lens. I have a 50 millimeter now and I'm loving both those lenses. And I've done, uh, I already did a small commercial for my local bar and restaurant with it and had a blast doing that. And I've filmed my dogs with this matte box in my bedroom <laughs> and I'll put that up right now. Not that you want to see my messy bed, but, um, but yeah, I'm just having a good time building this minimalistic rig. I hope you're enjoying um, last episode and this episode and you're following along 
with my Sigma FP minimalist run and gun cinema rig. That's a, that's a lot to say. So please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, if you want to see future videos, uh, hit the bell button, please. And go over and support Dave, Dave Mays at Kinotika. Please uh, shoot over there just real quickly. Um, I'm, I got the link here and I've got the link down there. Just go to his video and, and tell him you love him and tell him, tell him thanks for all he does. And you're sorry to hear that he got ripped off by some bad people because uh, it hurts, you know, and, and we need to stick together in our community and we need to, uh, we need to probably find these guys and, uh, you know, I want to beat their ass, but whatever, uh, <laughs> whatever comes to them is going to come to them because two wrongs don't make a right. And I'm, so I'm sorry for saying that, uh, that's how I feel though. I'm pretty passionate about it. Um, what these guys did to Dave and anybody else that does that to anybody, whether it's camera equipment or a stick of gum, it, it doesn't matter. It's morals. Um, that some people don't have and I understand that so uh, Anyways, go uh, tell them you love them and if you can donate some money again I'm gonna I've got a link down below to a uh, GoFundMe page We're gonna try to raise some amount of money in the next uh, 30 days or so uh, uh, For Dave and we can show them how much we love them uh, In doing that as well now if for some reason they catch these guys and they return his equipment then all that money will get refunded back to everybody uh, for, for obvious reasons. And so there's no worries. There's no, there's no loss here. Just uh, uh, I'm donating 100 bucks to Dave. I feel, I feel so horrible for him, and, and I don't wish this upon anybody. So uh, uh, thanks for uh, stopping by and watching uh, my channel and this video. Hope you got something out of it, and we'll see you on the next one.